we're dining at a very fancy pig's <laughs> restaurant. Let's see. the theme park foodies and we are at Disney Springs to dine at I think our second favorite quick service restaurant. If we had to rate the quick service restaurants, Chicken Guy I'm pretty sure is number one, but number two for me, uh, neck and neck actually I should say, is Polite Pig. Yes, like as I said he's fancy, he's polite, and he's got tons of different meats, assorted meats that are easy to assess here because you don't need a reservation to dine with this Polite Pig, right? He's very kind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to get in a lot of the restaurants here at Disney Springs, Boathouse, um, Wine Bar George, Wolfgang Pup, all the reservations, but not not Polite Pig. Polite Pig has uh, brisket. Um, they have, uh, they, oh, the chicken sandwich there is amazing too. They actually have a whole plate that we, have a, we put on our Instagram before. Yeah, the platter. Yeah. And they actually have a really good Cobb salad. It's one of my favorites. It's up yes. there in my Cobb salad ranking. I'm like debating on whether or not we should, I feel like we got to get the board because of all the meats, but I really like that chicken sandwich they have. And you really like getting, that Cobb. I'm getting myself. Okay, so, so she's going to get the Cobb. Maybe I'm thinking. either going to get a board of meats or I'm going to get a chicken sandwich. I will figure that out when I get there, but also, it's it's now January. It's not Christmas time, even though they have all the Christmas stuff up here at Disney. I'm Springs. surprised. Still. Yeah, well, I think the run series is still happening when we're filming this. But as swirls in the water, they have a brand new nachos. Last time I had holiday the holiday nachos, you were not with me, Sam, so I had to eat a lot to myself. But I got yeah, you to help me out today, and they had the pistachio. Pistachio is the flavor of the month here, so they have pistachio nachos. And I really is like pistachio like a winter flavor because Starbucks has the pistachio yeah, pulled during the, the winter, so I guess. I like pistachio. I like pistachio oh, yeah. too. Um, Gideon's also has brand new cookies. They have the cookie butter, um, butterscotch cookie and a cookie butter, butterscotch cake. Uh, well, I like cookie. Yeah, I'm gonna see if, how the line is over there. We might get that, probably not, but we are definitely getting swirls in the water nachos. We are definitely eating a polite pig. We're definitely gonna have a great time here. Are so you ready? And we're definitely gonna say Happy New Year because yes. we haven't said that. Yes, Happy New Year. Yeah, the last video that came out. We filmed was that filmed, in 2022. Yeah, so but, now it's yeah. officially Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year, and thanks so much for supporting us. We appreciate the comments, the likes, subscriptions. Really appreciate all the support last year. And thanks for hanging with us into 2023. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner tonight at Polite Pig. All right, update. We went to Gideon's. They have a four and a half hour virtual queue. We're on it. Um, we're probably not gonna be here for four and a half hours. So unless they call us early, we won't be getting these. With how packed Springs is tonight, I'm wondering how long the line is gonna be at Polite Pig. We're on our I way there now. I don't think it's gonna be as long as Gideon's. Fun fact, before the Gideon's Bakehouse over here opened, the only place to find Gideon's cookies in Dizzy Springs was where, Sam? Polite Pig, I yes. forgot about that. We actually went once and they used, they had a very limited quantity, like literally like 10. Mm. Like it was, remember? Yes. And yeah. we went, and I actually got, I think, the last... We bought, you bought the last two, we, we gave one to someone else. got the last two, and then somebody behind me, I felt yeah. bad, so I gave them my... We made it to Polite Pig. They have a bourbon bar, too, just so you guys know. Hi. Oh, Sam, the line's not bad at all. Not bad at all. You guys can see the butcher board right there. It's $45, it feeds two, and it gets pretty much most of the things that are on that board. While you're online, you can actually see where they are cooking the meats. I think, is that brisket, Sam? Looks like brisket. Very dark. Yeah. You can see right here too, they are in the Michelin Guide of Recommended Restaurants for 2022. We're in 2023 though. Oh, right? we're only a week in, so we'll give Michelin a little bit. Citricos. They do have some great barbecue sauces here. There's even like a barbecue ranch. There's Thomas's Southern Gold, Layla's Sweet Sauce, and Lil John's Signature Porter Sauce. I'm gonna try each one out. All right, we have been seated. Sam got a, that's a virgin pina colada. They have um, a lot of different bourbon and different drinks here. Uh, when you do order, they give you one of these scanner things for your table. They'll bring the food right to your table. It's really good. I feel like pina coladas are always a solid option. You see a lot of coconut in it. Yeah. And those are cherries on top. No. <laughs> are they olives? No, I don't know what it is. 
I'll, I'll try that one out. I'll try to figure it out. Got it. Oh, I think our food's here. Oh, wow. Okay. It's all here. Did I order too much? Yes, you did. <laughs> Look at this bowl. So that, Sam has got the Cobb salad. I remember last time I got this, I had two meals out of it. So I think it's definitely worth it. I think we're going to have before and four out of this meal. I got these sliders for myself. So the reason I got the sliders is I wanted to try some barbecue for you guys. So you can see right in the center there is that chicken sandwich that I said I loved last time. Then there's a brisket and the pulled pork. We also got two sides. We can try the sides out for you. This is the aged mac and cheese, aged cheddar, I think. We're going to look that up when we try it. We will let you know exactly what is in it. And then we got the cauliflower. And then the shareable pretzel, which comes with a beer cheese and mustard. All right. Which IPA mustard. All right. So which should we dig into first, Sam? I feel like the pretzel because it's hot. It's I think you're right. Hot. We've been taking a lot of pictures, so... Let's see. Well, right, so let's, uh, you can see it's a good cheese, but it has that kind of crust on top. It doesn't look like it has a lot of salt on it. Not a lot. Really, only if you look better. But it's taller than my It's like, I would say easy. That is a beer, heavy beer cheese. Usually, the beer is a hint. The beer is like the star of that cheese. So you're gonna get drunk on beer cheese? I'm gonna try the uh, mustard out. It's the IPA mustard. Yeah. Is it as good as the chocolate world pretzel? Nothing will ever be as good as that pretzel. Top pretzel just so you guys know. Hershey's chocolate from Pennsylvania. They have a beer cheese. Sauce. And like a recent oh peat honey mustard. Delicious. This is very good too. Yeah, they got some good ones on there. Pretzel's a little sitting. They got big on there. Not bad. The dips are strong. As with any pretzel. Pretzel itself, I'm gonna give a five to. Um, the beer cheese, I'm gonna give a Six, 2 and I like the mustard actually the best. This is seven. I really like this mustard. Um, beer cheese is just a little too beer heavy for my taste, but I like the mixes of the cheese and beer. I'm still feel six. It goes one above average. Pretzel just feels now it could be our fault because like you said, we took a lot of pictures to look further. Maybe five is fair for us. Maybe better when you get it. It was warmer when we first got it. And then the honey mustard has the perfect amount of. It's not cheese. honey mustard. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm thinking beef honey mustard. It's a, it's a spicy mustard. You get the cheese to spice ratio, as I was going to say. And um, that's why it's my favorite one. I have all of them. But it's still a very solid pretzel. I definitely recommend sharing with friends. All right, now for one of the sides, the aged cheddar and breadcrumbs mac and cheese. If you're at a barbecue joint, you got to have good mac and cheese, right, Sam? Yeah, I feel like it's a staple. It's a cornerstone of any barbecue yeah. restaurant. I like the container it comes in. And I don't know if you said this, but it is quick service, but you do, they do bring it to your table. So you don't have to carry everything. You know, you know um, JK Bread is Life from Instagram? Yeah. I suggested this back and cheese store recently. And we haven't had it for so long. I forgot how good it is. <laughs> You suggested it without having it in so long? That's yeah. risky. Well, they were looking for quick service mac, and I knew they had a solid one here. I didn't know just how good it was. That is a very good mac and cheese. It's just the sharpness of the aged cheddar. The breadcrumbs add a nice crunch to it. And you know it's like real cheese. It's cheesy, it's stretchy. It's not that melty cheese like a Kraft mac and cheese. This is a cheese cheese. Don't knock on Kraft mac and cheese. I, I love me some mac and some Kraft, but it's just, it's more cheesy. That's the right word. Good. I like it. I'm gonna give this an eight. I think it's probably one of the better mac and cheeses I've had here. I have to compare it to Chicken Guy though. They have more of that creamy mac and cheese that I do usually like, but that sharpness of the aged cheddar, it's real good. All right, the sliders here, Sam. We have our brisket, we have our fried chicken, and then we have our pork. I also got me some of the sauces. I said I was gonna get each sauce before when I was up there. You weren't with me. I got one of each. So this is a um, the ranch. This is the sweet barbecue, and then I think this is more of like a mustard tangy sauce. 
So I think I'm going to use one for each. I'm going to use this type of uh, mustard sauce for my briskets. I feel like that goes well with brisket. This definitely looks like a tender brisket if you want to get a shot of that, Sam. You're just pouring a little bit of that on top. And this has the smoky smell, but it's not too bad. Like some places it's like overpowering, but... It's hard to find the right level some, of smoke. It's a moderately... Yeah. Some smoke. people love that smoke. Yeah. I like just a little bit, just a flavor enhancer. Not the overpowering right? but some people are different. This is not super smoky, but it has some smoke. That's a really good brisket. Probably my better favorite, one of my favorite briskets I've had at a Disney Resort. I'm gonna give this an eight. That's good. Let's go for the fried chicken. Nest. This I loved when we had it last night. Probably one of my favorite chicken sandwiches I've, I've ever had. I'll try it with and then without the ranch. I don't think I rated my pina colada. Mm -hmm. I think it's an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, I think it's like a blackberry or something. It doesn't taste like a cherry to me. Taste that. Oh, and Jason just spilled half my drink. This is what the drink looks like now. I was gonna try the blackberry, but I guess I'm never gonna try it now. Um, let's, uh, so what'd you give your drink, Sam? I would give it an eight. Okay, now that I've ruined it. Um, so let's get the, uh, some of the ranch. That's another eight for me. I don't remember the chicken being as, well, the last time, but it's still good, it's still good. Now here, the pulled pork shoulder. This is I'm gonna put this sweet barbecue, I think it's Lula's sweet barbecue sauce on. Mm. Tim, I recommend the sliders as an entree. You get a little taste of each thing. I think the sandwich adds to it. It's real good. Eight, eight, eight. Oh, late, an eight of a tray. All right, Sam. There it is. All right, it's a chipotle cob salad. So you have tomatoes, egg, roasted corn, cheese, bacon. I added the smoked chicken. You can also add, I think, like a crispy chicken, brisket, pork, or salmon. And it does come on the side. So I'm gonna cut it off and then throw it in. Yeah, yeah. It's like an avocado chipotle dressing. That's already mixed in. All right. This is like your favorite Cobb salad, I think, right? Do you like this more than the Cobb at Hollywood Brown Derby? That one is like so iconic. But this, I think, might be number two. Because the meat is so good. And so, like, look at the bacon. Oh. Gotta try to stand. Oh, it's there like it. legit, you know, bacon. And it just makes it so crispy. It just really makes it. How's the flavor combo with the avocado sauce and the bacon and tomatoes? It's perfect. It's, I love the roasted corn. So it perfect, perfect, perfect for me. I like avocado. I it's like, perfect to perfect 10 though. I would say nine. Okay. It's a huge portion, literally two, maybe, I feel like even maybe three meals you can stretch out of this bowl. There's so much in there. It was only six bucks to add the chicken on, but it's like, this is quality, you know, smoked chicken, and it, yeah. it complements the roasted corn and the avocado so well. It's a light meal that's actually a heavy meal, but you can make two meals out of it. I don't think it's light. I wouldn't <laughs> say it's light. It's, I don't think it's a healthy salad, but I'm going to pretend it is, kind of. The salad lies to you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying nine. Barbecue cauliflower. Focus, there it is. Paprika. Sour cream. sour cream and candied tapitas. I don't know how to say it right. Tapitas? Boom. It's cauliflower. I think the many time vegetables are like super cooked. They taste good and mm -hmm. seasoning. I like barbecue vegetables, so I'll give it a six. I think it's solid. My cauliflower man? Maybe not, but if you are, it could be higher. For me, it's a six. So we will be taking some of this home. Sam, I don't think you were a fan of the beer cheese. Yeah, old school, cool. What? You weren't a fan of the beer cheese. It was very beer forward. And I like beer cheese, but it was almost like too much. Yeah, that's what I was saying. 
pretty stale. It, that's what I was thinking. The pretzel was stale. I think we're going to knock the pretzel down to a four. Yeah, that's the best pretzel. Yeah. The dips were good, though. Although, yes, very. just expect some beer with that cheese. All right, just so you guys know, the Polite Pig is right outside the Lime Garage, and they do have a cookie. Not the Gideon's cookie anymore. It's like a bourbon. It's like an imitation. It did look a lot it like, a like it. It looked like it, yeah. But it was it was a bourbon cookie. Uh, we haven't we didn't try the cookie. Maybe we'll come back and try that one day. <laughs> but it was very good, right, Tim? Very good. My salad, amazing. I would get it again. Mac and cheese, amazing. The only thing I wouldn't get again, I think, is the cauliflower and the, and the pretzel. pretzel. Yeah, could have went. Could have did without those. Now, where are we off to next? I don't know. Swirls, Swirls on the water. It is cold. It's a little chilly out. Yeah. All right, so Swirls on the Water is right over the bridge in front of the Rainforest Cafe. And believe it or not, it is actually on the water. All right, the Dole Whip nachos. There is so much going on here. So we have Cherry Dole Whip, which I don't think we've ever tried before. Yes, we've never tried before. Pistachio before. Soft Serve. Uh, roasted pistachios. Cherry popcorn, there's a Morello cherry, there's whipped cream, there's sprinkles, there's waffle cone chips. If you're a fan of different textures, I think you literally have them all in this one dish. It looks very good. I like the way the, the tartness of the cherry goes with the pistachio. I don't love the popcorn. Okay. I think it's weird but I feel like I like everything else. And obviously I like the idea of it being like a nacho and using the chip. But so, th I think the popcorn is just a little, a little stale? too much. A little too much. Okay. I don't think I need popcorn in with my- Does it need that texture? Yeah, it has enough. I think the waffle chip is enough. So what would you give it? One of the 10? Seven. Okay, I seven like the good. cherry dole with a lot. Mm. That light is bright, man. It's too bright on me? No, I mean, I hope, I don't want to see what I look like with that bright light. <laughs> yeah, we've got to put a light on ourselves because if you guys have noticed in low light, the camera seems to slow things down. Still trying to correct that, but I'm just excited to try these, Sam. You kind of hyped them up a little bit for me. Uh, the pistachio in the Dole Whip is really good. Mm. Mm. I just, I don't need popcorn in that mix. I think it's weird. Mm. The one positive of eating a cold thing on a cold night, it's not melting. <laughs> yeah. Usually, we, there's, it's a race against time here. In oh, Florida. you're right. We're trying to eat ice cream. It's so Tonight nice. we were, yeah. we're, we're next to the uh, Rainforest Cafe volcano. When it goes off, though, the heat feels so good. Yeah, yeah. I actually can't believe I don't have a jacket and you do, because usually, like, I'm really bundled up. I really made a mistake. Mr. Weatherman. Jason watches weather on YouTube. Mm -hmm. By the way, I've offered her my jacket multiple times. Today. You did. You did. I am. I am. A, I am not just. You say you bring it up. I have a jacket. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm no. I mean, I've offered it like five times. He did. No. He did. Did you have any of the put? Try get some popcorn on your chip. It's weird. And you love popcorn. It's just weird. I don't want popcorn with with. Doesn't soft, mix with it. With soft serve. The pistachio soft serve is good. Everything else is good. The pistachio complements the tartness of the cherry. It has like that little cherry stuff on top of it too. That, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a goo almost. Right on top. Probably would be a bit better if it was creamier. Is the only thing I could think, but still very good. I'm gonna give this, uh, what'd you give it? A seven. I think I'm gonna agree with your seven. I think I actually like this better than the holiday version too. Although I did enjoy the holiday version. I just think that the flavor combo, it's unique, it's original, and I think that all the flavors and the textures complement themselves, except for the popcorn. Yeah, you it's the like too much. Equation, it's, almost an it's like you literally have every texture in that yeah. dish. I would like it maybe a little creamier, but this isn't Stole Whip, it's not creamy. So, you yeah, know, it's good, I like it. All right, so that does it for our time here at Disney Springs, dining at Polite Pig and having the new pistachio and cherry Dole Whip nachos that swirls in the water. They were so good. Those were, I like them more than I thought I was gonna like them. Yeah, I like those, I definitely like those better than the holiday ones. And uh, man, Polite Pig was so good, right? Yeah.
There were, I want to go back to the nachos. I wasn't done. <laughs> there were a lot of Morello cherries in there and yes. cherry sauce. They didn't and skim. Roasted pistachios. Yeah. It's really good. They just need to get rid of that popcorn and it'll be perfect. Yeah, I would ask if my suggestion is without the popcorn. <laughs> If you're a popcorn fan, maybe you will enjoy it. Everyone's yeah, flavors are different. Popcorn gets soggy when it's yeah. mixed with the when ice cream. Yeah, when it's mixed cream. with the ice cream. Who wants to eat yeah. soggy popcorn? Yeah. Not me. That was my biggest issue with it. However, very good. Definitely a seven, possibly a category. I'm going to keep stay conservative, though, and keep it down to the seven. Uh, polite Pig. That's a solid spot. I actually, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say anything bad about Polite well, Pig. Well, it's on that list. We did... People sitting next to us did say that their chili was was salty. salty. Yes, yeah. Well, there were people sitting next to us. It's very nice to meet you. If you uh, <laughs> did catch our, our channel at all, um, and they did say that the chili is salty. So watch out for that salt in the chili. But everything that we had was very good. Um, not too smoky, uh, not too sweet. I think everything just uh, has those right level of flavors. And I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to give Chicken Guy a run for their money for the quick service. Yeah, we have, we'll, take we have a home. lot leftover. Yeah, lots of leftovers. Um, uh, do you, what do you think? You still think Chicken Guy is number one as far as quick service in Disney Springs? I don't know. We haven't had Chicken Guy in a while. Yeah. I feel like there's more of a variety at Polite Pig. That's and true. And I also like how they, it's quick service, but they do serve you. And they will come back and check on you, which yeah. they don't do that at Chicken Guy. Yeah. And Maybe you'll we'll have to do a versus video. Yeah. I also feel like it's hard to find seating at Chicken Guy. Yes. Well, they added the new seating area. We haven't been since they've they done that. So actually, they have a seating area that's, that's inside... Um, Planet Hollywood now, just so you guys know. But yes, great date night. It was awesome spending time after a hard work week with you, Sam. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It'll push our video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. Also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified. Are you notified? Every time the videos come out. Is Wednesday? I'm very notified. Every <laughs> Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Sometimes it's an extra one. Don't count the days. The the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. The fire's going off. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to get a shot of paddlefish. We actually got married here. But yeah, and no. we've had some really great meals there recently that we haven't vlogged and we really need to do a vlog because there are some new menu items at Paddlefish that are... Bang. My advice, uh, of course, I turn on the, on the, the literally the last fire that went off is when I turned on uh, my first cafe. My advice with paddlefish is to stick with the sandwiches. The fish tacos, the muffaletta, um, the, uh, the fish sandwich, all the sandwiches there are very good. I think that the entrees are good, but I think the sandwiches are just better. Yeah, and I think that there's, I think it just, they fall under the radar because I think there's so much competition yes. at Disney Springs. Certainly. But they're also very yeah. ostentatious with that big boat. You know, and I think a lot of people love Fulton's. So when this turned, when Fulton's turned into paddlefish, there has been an uproar. Um, but we we love paddlefish because we got married there. We think it's a beautiful area, a beautiful spot. Disney Springs, top deck, Good drinks, awesome views, too. great drinks. And yeah, sangria. We yes. have to do a video. We will be well, back. Apparently, the outro We're... of this video is turning into a paddlefish. A hyper paddlefish, paddlefish. <laughs> we'll be back for paddlefish, fish, guys. 